and welcome. Welcome everybody to the Isn't It Time Facebook Live show. I am your host, Sally Thibault, and it feels like I'm on a bit of a delay. <laughs> I can see that already. Um, as you pop on this morning, say hi. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, everything's going okay. I'm always a little hesitant with using this particular platform lately, as we've, but it seems to have been okay in the last little while. Today we're talking morning morning donna lovely to have you here so obviously you can hear me <laughs> let me know if you can oh dear we're talking are you dreaming big enough this morning are you dreaming big enough this morning uh yeah it was a very blustery windy walk <clears throat> on the beach this morning um it was quite wild and woolly um, but not cold at all. And uh, it's lovely when I, I just want to share a little story. Um, when I walk, I walk in the mornings quite early, as you know, you know, you can see the same people. Anyway, there's an older couple that, that I see every morning and he, they'd have to be well into their eighties. Um, he, he kind of walks very slowly and she walks with him and we always say good morning. And yesterday morning, when um we we're walking he was they were on the other side of the road and i heard a good morning and waving at me from the other side of the road that was so cute and then this morning uh, when i went past them we had a little chat they said oh, we saw you yesterday and we were on the other side and <laughs> oh you're a bit late today and it was just it's lovely isn't it just made my day so lovely so lovely so lovely all righty so we're talking about today are you dreaming big enough um now this whole topic actually came about um i did a presentation in brisbane on sunday <clears throat> it was a large event we had about 130 people there uh and i was there uh to share my story it was uh for parents raising children living with autism uh, and i said about 130 uh, parents were there some teachers as well which was lovely to see and the whole idea was how to create natural solutions uh, to help manage um, anxiety and stress and behavior um, we've looked at essential oils, of course, food and uh, how to cope with the school. We had a teacher there talking about the things that um, help with school and then me. So I was talking about the importance. <laughs> yes, it's good, isn't it? Uh, I was talking about the importance of um, looking after yourself. Um, and as I said, um, when you have a child diagnosed with autism, it would be for anything, whether that be something life threatening as well. Um, when there's a massive change in the family, um, who do you become in the new normal? But as I was preparing for the event, I was going through all the old um, photo albums, looking at, wanted to get photos of my son when he was quite young. For those who don't know, um, uh, my son was diagnosed um, with autism in 1997 when he was 11 years old. Um, and it was quite a tough journey. Um, at the time, he was one of the he was a school of six hundred, and in those days, it was one in five hundred children diagnosed. Today, it's up to about one in seventy. But um, it was a really challenging um, time for us, and and because now the story is so different. Now he's married and lives overseas. Um, got a fantastic job in his absolute dream job of all dream jobs for a young men living with autism. Let me tell you, um, for those who don't know, he's a a video editor for a company and he reviews video games and makes videos for a living um, so and then of course my other two daughters are doing their living their best lives overseas as well but when i was sitting going through all the photos i was actually kind of getting quite emotional because i'd forgotten how far we come i was just really emotional about the family the family photos that were taken sort of in that really tough time that time between he was when he was 11 till about 15 really hard times for us we had to pull him out of school and it was just horrible just horrible and um when i was sharing my story on sunday um about how far we come i was amazed at the emotion in the room and how many people are still living um the story we lived over 22 years ago uh, so it was when I kind of got my head together and I thought, wow, you know, like our outcome has been just far greater than I could have ever dreamed possible. And I say that to people all the time. I say, if you told me when we were going through the worst of our times, when, when my son was in year eight and nine in particular, 
if you had told me, hey, Lisa, um, how our life has turned out now, I, I, not in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that it would turn out like this. Not, not in my wildest dreams. So I began thinking about this. Like in those days, I, I couldn't dream big. <laughs> I was just putting one foot in front of the other, <clears throat> trying to survive. And then I started to think about it. You know, if you can um, create a far greater than you think possible outcome without intention, what can you do with intention? And it was then I realized, am I dreaming big enough? Because, you know, what happens is life's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway. Your kids are going to grow up. We're getting older. You know, the world's going to change. It's going to happen anyway. So why not dream bigger? Why not ask yourself the question, am I dreaming big enough? Now, um, the thing with our story is the outcome probably would have been the same as it is, probably. I can't imagine it being any more different, maybe, uh, probably. I mean, everybody's leading great lives and doing wonderful things and da-da-da-da, happy. But what would have changed, I believe, if I had all these tools I had now, was the angst, the stress, the doubt, the fear, the overwhelm would have been entirely different. It would have been entirely different. Um, and I want to share a little story. I was at a, um, a speaking um, at an event on Thursday and um, the wonderful Ju Julie Lewin, who is a medical intuitive, was speaking. She's quite extraordinary. She was sharing this story about she was back in the days when she was trying to code. She was doing some coding for a while trying to code something for somebody and she just spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours try and she couldn't figure out this why this thing wasn't working and she thought that's it I'm giving up I've, I've, I've done as much as I can I can't do anything more I'm done I've got to admit I can't do this and at that moment something happened on her computer it kind of it kind of went into this blackness and all she could see was code um, on the screen, you know, like little, like matrix, you know, the matrix, it's got the little green wiggle squiggle thingies. And right in the middle of it was a, was a white dot. And she said right there in that little tiny white dot where she'd put a wrong figure in. Morning, Sandy. She put a wrong figure in it. And, and when she changed it, it all worked. And it reminded me when um, I reached the end of my absolute tether and couldn't do it anymore, when I decided to give up with my son and I stopped pushing him from behind and pulling him from the front and decided to stand right down, I, I can't do this anymore, We're, I'm done, was the moment everything changed. The moment everything changed for him and for me. Because at that stage, remember, I didn't have a dream. I didn't have a dream. I didn't know where I was going. So when I was, I was kind of thinking about this all week. All right, why don't? What is it about us that we can't dream a bigger dream? And I'd love your comments on this. Let me know if you kind of got a feeling you're not dreaming that bigger dream. And I want to. So I started to do some um, research, and as it turns out, isn't that funny? how things turn out. I'm actually listening to a book at the moment called um, Any Ordinary Day. Um, she surrendered and released. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sandy. I surrendered and released. Um, Every Ordinary Day by Lee Sales. And for those of you um, not in Australia, Lee Sales is a fabulous journalist and she anchors a, a program on the ABC, our government um, public broadcaster um, called The Seven Theory Report. Fantastic woman. Anyway, she's written this book called On Any Ordinary Day. And she's talking in that about how people survive disasters and what happens to them. I had to actually stop. Um, yeah, I had to stop listening to it for a while because the stories are so sad. Oh, um, but she's interviewed survivors of kind of really terrible things and how they, how they 
survive it, how they put one foot. Yeah. <laughs> I love this, Donna. Yes, self-belief, procrastination, procrastination, absolutely. Self-sabotage, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All of those, all of those. I can't get this thing working fast enough today. So, yeah, fear is the one thing. She surrendered and released. That's exactly right, Sandra. I was going to pop that out. I surrendered and released. That's exactly what I did. So true, Donna. So many fear is one of the bigger things. Yep. Yep. Limitations. Yes. <laughs> Self-sabotage, limitations, yep, all of the above, self-sabotage. Procrastination, big one. Procrastination, so much behind that procrastination. Self-belief, yes, 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 all of the above. Exactly, 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 exactly. So what I'm going to share with you is why your brain, why your brain doesn't like, um, where am I going? Why your brain? <laughs> Sometimes I get really smart and I think I'm going well and other times I just can't figure this out. Oh, right, got it, got it, got it. We're back on track. Oh, there we are. Hello, right there, we're back on. <laughs> All right, brain, three reasons why. So in this book, she was talking about, uh, not enough belief myself. I'm going to share with you, first of all, physiologically what happens, why our brain doesn't let us dream big enough. So you're... you're <laughs> Not enough belief in yourself, absolutely. Um, your brain doesn't let you. Okay, let me get back on track here. Number one, uh, your brain likes sameness. So uh, we tend to hang around the same type of people. We're comfortable in the same type of environment. You know, we've talked a lot on this show about tribe, your tribe. Um, we live, and what what um, uh, she coined in the book is a reality bubble. Um, we we get trapped in this kind of belief system. We'll watch the same TV shows, or we'll we'll read things that um, that kind of have us believing that yeah, we're, we're comfortable. Because the brain's not designed to um, work, <laughs> believe it or not. It's designed to keep you comfortable. So that's when the flight and fight uh, response clicks in, and all that stress. Um, it takes over in order to produce something, but it tries to settle down after that trouble now. And these days we don't deal with our stress very well. So it likes sameness. Number two, as I just mentioned, it keeps you lazy because it requires energy, it actually requires calories to work. And so um, that's where we're talking about uh, procrastination, jumping to conclusions, uh, not finishing what you're starting, stereotyping people in situations so it robs us of the opportunity to stay productive because being productive requires energy so if you want to dream bigger you're going to have to probably work harder be more productive and we, the brain doesn't like that so it's constantly that self-limiting beliefs as Donna mentioned before um, and Sandy that it's trying to keep you not working and the third is it doesn't like you to be wrong so when you set a, when you want to set a bigger dream for yourself, what if you doubt, can't, limitations, do it? I'm wrong. So the inability to dream that bigger dream, there's actually chemical processes going on in the brain. That's where EFT is so powerful. We're going to do a tapping today on that. Um, but it's so powerful because it can release that. Um, um, that the neurons rewire the neurons so when it doesn't want you to be wrong <clears throat> so all the things that you've been told as a child who do you think you are just remember where you came from don't get too big for your britches all sits in that subconscious everybody relate just remember just who do you think you are so it doesn't want you to be wrong it doesn't want you to be wrong so if you dream a bigger dream and you don't make it. What does that mean to you? Do you know, back in those days, I don't think when I was thinking about this this weekend, I didn't give myself permission to dream big because I was just so focused on staying alive and keeping everything normal that I, I, I didn't have the brain power I didn't have that brain power, such in stress and overwhelm, to even imagine something far greater than I thought possible. Um, 
you know, we were just trying to keep him happy. That's all I wanted was for him to be happy. Um, so there wasn't enough brain energy for me to dream a bigger dream. Am I making sense? Can you let me know if this is kind of resonating with you? Yeah, that's exactly right, Donna. I was not able to create the vision. I couldn't, I didn't have that. Um, I didn't have the brain power to do that at that stage. So failure, not good enough. Yeah, 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 Sandy. Exactly, exactly. Not feeling good enough. Yeah. So I'm going to challenge you this week to ask yourself this question. Am I dreaming big enough? When I'm setting my intentions, when you're looking at your business plan, when you're deciding what you, you want to do physically, you know, with your body, are you dreaming big enough? Yeah, Donna Survival, that's all it was doing, you know, um, Maslow's hierarchy stuff coming in. You know, when you got to go through the, the, um, the, the, the levels, I couldn't get to the next level because we were just in survival. Exactly. So self present shut down. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So um, are you dreaming big enough? I'd like what I'm encouraging my clients to do this week is to look at a far grander plan. So to, to, to look at a far grander plan, what, what could you possibly achieve? Now, the reason I'm really passionate about this is because um, we continually limit ourselves. You know, for those of you on this call today listening, you have a product or a service or an idea or a talent that other people are seeking. And if you don't step up and do that, they're going to find somebody else who will. And I remember my early days when I first started doing this um, um, mentoring and coaching and work I do now, so many times I would hear someone that I'd have a little conversation with and then I'd find they'd gone and worked with somebody else. Okay, well, what that, what's that all about? It was about me. It wasn't about them. It was about me. So I was holding myself back. I didn't have the bigger dream. But people are going to search for somebody to solve their pain or their problem. And if you dream a big enough dream, they're going to come to find you. They're going to do it anyway. You're going to live anyway. You're, tomorrow, you'll get up tomorrow, you're going tomorrow, you're going the next day, you're going, to, you're going to do this. So why not step right into it? The only thing that holds all of us back is the belief that we can. You know, when I, on Sunday when I was sharing this information with people, it just, it just floored me that um, when I tell the story, it resonates with people and I forget. And each of you on this call, each of you who's listening um, is exactly the same. You will have been through something that, and you kind of just, oh, well, I'm over that now. But there's somebody else living that right now. So if you're a coach... Um, if you're in direct sales, um, if you're a mentor, if you're a teacher, it, it, somebody needs your needs your um, talent. Somebody needs what you offer. Lisa, let's have a look at what you just said here. I've seen a vision of my life that have been living in the judgment. Well, oh, yes, Lisa, I get it. Now I'm going to step up to brilliant. Bri Lisa, I keep going Lisa. I've seen a vision, but I've been living in the judgment. That I, whoa, that's brilliant. Absolutely. Well done. Well done. It's um, It makes a huge difference, absolute huge difference. Somebody is going to do it. <laughs> Somebody is going to need your service, your product, your talent, your ability. We are here for a purpose. We all are. And you know what, Donna? You know, that's a great point. We're all here for a purpose. Every single one of us. I and mean, that's why I do what I do. What I love is helping people find their purpose and step right into it because it's just, have you watched the news lately? <laughs> oh, I just shake my head sometimes and think, what the heck are we doing this? Well, we need guiding lights. 
We need guiding lights. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a quick thing. Um, if you are interested, want to really step into your brilliance, your amazingness, um, book in for a 30-minute um, strategy session with me and um, um, I'd love to see if I can help you um, because, honestly, if you're not doing it, as I said before, I'm going to pop it in the comments here, somebody else is going to. You're here for a purpose. We all are. Every single one of us is here for a purpose. If you feel so inclined to do so, um, message me and, uh, and book in for a chat. See if I can help you in some way to really step into that true purpose because um, as, yeah, exactly, to be valued, Donna, absolutely, to be valued, to be limitless, to be extraordinary every day, it's your birthright. So how can you serve? So cool. Yep, 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 yeah. And you know what? Do you know what? As I said before, it's going to happen anyway. Life is going to happen anyway. And, um, you know, when I when I, I actually got really emotional when I sat on the floor and looked at all those images, those pictures, um, because I thought I, I was so in those days... I missed so much, I think, because I was so limited uh, in what I believe possible. Um, you know, luckily in those days, what we did was we went, we went a lot of picnics. We were out in nature a lot because that helped uh, soothe my son, calm my son. But I think that was really what really connected all of us was that living in the present moment because we didn't have mobile phones then. <laughs> That kind of helped. I mean, we had, you know, flip phones, but not everything else. Um, so the question this week I'm going to leave you with, am I dreaming big enough? What is holding me back? Really work on that. And if you're stuck, if you get stuck, just message me. We've, I've had some incredible sessions this week. <laughs> Mind-blowing mind-blowing when we get underneath and figure out what's going on and use EFT and visualization and a whole heap of other questioning processes and it's amazing amazing what you find incredible so um you know if you're ready to just step into the real you um that link is there all right all right you're still with me you're still with me all right, I want you to ask yourself and, and be really honest. Am I dreaming a big enough dream? How true that I'm not. Now, you are not dreaming a big enough dream. How true is that? And um, I'm going to use the words, um, who do you think you are? Because that's words that resonate with me. Who do you think you are? Mm -mm -mm. Who do you think you are? my sisters a lot <laughs> i probably said it to them too who do you think you are you're not so special you're not smart oh, you're not even good looking <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> i like having four girls in the house <laughs> i probably spoke to my brother he'd go i don't remember any of that <laughs> oh, sisters are so wonderful <laughs> um, all right i want you to and think i'm going to i'm going to use the terminology who do you think you are yay lisa woohoo Brilliant. That is so good. My dream is about to explode. Look out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So good, so good, so good. Oh, all righty. Here we go. Here we go. Scale of one to ten. How? You know, am I dreaming big enough? Really be truthful. Actually, I'm not. And, you know, it's probably true for me. If it's about a ten. I'm not dreaming big enough. Let's go. Even though I know I'm not dreaming big enough. And it's so truthful for me. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I know I am not dreaming big enough, I can feel it in my stomach. I really want to step into it. But who do I think I am? I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Last time, even though I really know I am not dreaming big enough. Who do I think I am? 
I should just remember where I come from. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Tapping. Who do I think I am? Who do I think I really am? I could just be just too big for my britches. I should just remember where I come from. Who do I think I am? To dream this big dream. I feel I limit myself. Who do I think I am? What do I know? Just who do I think I am? So what makes me think I can dream big? Who do I think I am? What if I can't do this? There's so much fear around a big dream. Just who do I think I am? Why would anybody listen to me? Okay, just take a deep breath. <laughs> I started giggling in that. It's amazing, isn't it, when it starts, the edge starts to come off the emotion. All right. If you're still, you probably have a lot of little words like that in your past. Who do I think I am? What makes you think you're so special? I want to listen to you anyway. Blah, 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 blah. See if you can go and find all of those because that's what you need to release, all that stuff before you can be, dream that far bigger dream. Let's do a quick reframe because we're almost at the top of the hour. All right, tapping. Even though, <laughs> too big for your riches, yeah? Even though I know I have been self-limiting, I choose to step into this bigger dream. Even though there's some things in my past that have held me back from dreaming that bigger dream, I choose now to release them and step into my true purpose. Even though I've held myself back, I choose to dream the bigger dream. Okay, here we go. I choose to dream a bigger dream. I choose to intend far greater than I think possible. I choose a bigger dream. I choose to forgive all those who've held me back in the past. I choose to release all judgments of myself and others. I choose to dream a bigger dream. I choose to step into my purpose. I choose to dream a bigger dream. Okay, just take a deep breath and let it go. Okay, that, this is a great one for your power pose, you know, in the morning, looking in the mirror with the power pose or not looking in the mirror, just the power pose. If you don't. Um, I choose to dream a bigger dream today. How do I serve far greater than I think possible? I choose to dream a bigger dream today. Fabulous. And release it. Thank you so much, here. Donna. Too big for your britches. <laughs> I haven't heard that for years. There's, you know, we have got we've all got all those things um, really in our past. So it's important to go in, in in EFT, you go in and look at all those things. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for all those things that people have said to you in the past. Um, all those uh, emotions, all those feelings. And as I said, you know, it could be stuff that your sisters or your friends said to you and they were five and it just goes in there. Who do you think you are? And you tell me what to do. <laughs> I was a bossy big sister. I will admit that. <laughs> I was the eldest. A very responsible. I'll have you there. Have you, have you, have you. All right, everybody. 
Um, let me know if you if if I can help you um, and book in for a strategy session. I'd love to help you step into your power and your purpose and reclaim that passion. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I shall see you all next week, 7.30, on the Isn't It Time Facebook Live show. Bye for now. Hey, Deirdre. I'm just about to turn it off and you're there. <laughs> Good to hear you. Good to see you. You're welcome, Lisa. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.